Thanks for tuning in to another physics lesson with Mr. M. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add two non-perpendicular vectors. Here's our example. A hiker travels 5 kilometers, 30 degrees north of east, then turns and travels 18 kilometers, 60 degrees north of west. Find the resultant and direction of the hiker's path. So the very first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to draw a picture. Now, the more accurate you make your picture, the better, but it doesn't necessarily always have to be to scale. So we have five kilometers at um, 30 degrees north of east, and then he turns and travels 18 kilometers, 60 degrees north of west. And so our 60 degree angle is gonna be right here. <clears throat> All right, so once we have our picture, the next thing that we need to do is that whenever we have an angled vector, we need to find the X and Y components. So I'm gonna color code these. I'm gonna go um, for the X's, I'm gonna use red. So that would be the X component, I'm gonna call that X1. Over here, I'm gonna call that one X2. For my Y's, I'm gonna go with blue. I'm going to call that one Y1, and I'm going to call that one Y2. So now we can start solving for these. For the X's, we generally use cosine, and that's just because of our trig functions. X is um, according, you know, in relation to this angle here, it's the adjacent one, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. I know what my hypotenuse is. So we generally use cosine here. So cosine of our angle times the hypotenuse. And then for x2, same thing. Cosine of our angle, 60 there, and the hypotenuse there is 18. Now, make sure that your uh, calculator is in degrees mode and not radians mode, or else you're gonna get some, some different answers here. So we have uh, 4.3 for x1, and for x2, we have cosine of 60 times 18 gives me nine, but we're gonna make it negative. And the reason why we have to make this negative is because it's going left. Generally, if something is going left, we're gonna make it negative. And that's because it's opposing x1, which is going right. Um, for, these, for these y values, they're both going up. Up is a positive value. If we had one that was going down, we would make it negative. But in this case, we don't have one that is going down. So for our y's, we are gonna be using the sine function, and that's because sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So in relation to this angle, y is opposite of it. So sine of 30 times five for y1, and y2 is gonna be the sine of 60 times 18. So let's go ahead and calculate these. Sine of 30 times five gives me 2.5 and sine of 60 times 18 gives me 15.6. Now that we have all of the x and y components solved for, now what we can find is we can find total x and total y. And that's just the culmination of all the x components and all of the y components. So for my x, I basically have 4.3 minus 9. So 4.3 minus 9 gives me negative 4.7. And then for my total y's, both of those are positive, so we're going to add them up. So we get 18.1. And then these are important because what we're going to do is we're basically going to make another right triangle so that we can solve for the resultant and the direction. So negative 4.7, that just means that my vector is going to go left. And remember, whenever we add vectors, we're going to add them head to tail. And so my y is 18.1. This is going to give us a right triangle or at least a right angle. And then the, the hypotenuse here completes that right triangle. That's the resultant, okay? So we can use Pythagorean theorem to find the resultant here. Uh, even if you wanna leave that negative, negative 4.7 squared plus 18.1 squared, that's okay. Uh, a negative times a negative is gonna come out to be positive anyways. 
So we get 349.7. And then we need the square root. And so we get a total of 18.7 kilometers as the resultant. We do want to find the angle. So this was our start point. So this is the angle that we're looking for here, theta. Since I already know my, my opposite side and my adjacent side to this angle, I prefer to use um, tangent. And if we're trying to find the angle, we actually have to do the inverse. So theta here is gonna equal the inverse tangent of opposite, which is 18.1 over the adjacent 4.7. So hit your second key or your shift key, then tangent, 18.1 divided by 4.7. That gives us 75.4 degrees. Since this is west, going left is west, and then we went north of it, we're going to call this direction north of west. All right. Well, Thanks for tuning in, and as always, I hope this video has helped you solve your own physics problem.